Hey everyone. Welcome to my channel, Tech in Resham. In this video, we'll explore how when we receive an attachment in the Gmail automatically save to your Google Drive. It is automated progress with no input required. We need to ensure the Alama and NA10 run in the same network subnet otherwise they can't connect. I have make video of how we deploy them in Docker and make use of same network. I am going to skip that part. However if you need help on that topic please refer to that video. Open the NA10 either local or cloud. Our trigger point is Gmail and drag on message received trigger to playground. Open the trigger. If you have already set up the credential to connect Gmail, please go to Google Cloud Console to obtain zero auth client ID and client secret. You need to enable Gmail API and Google Drive API, then create zero auth client application is going to be desktop. Treat the client ID and client secret as password. Do not share to anyone. Drag another Gmail trigger. This time it is going to be received email action. You can use same credentials to connect. Resource will be message. Operation is going to get as we need to get message from our inbox. On the left side, select schema and drag Gmail ID field from the left windows to message ID, so it is dynamic. Turn off the simplify and add an option to download attachment so that whenever an email is received and it has attachment, the NA10 will download attachment which will be used to upload to Google Drive later. Once we test step we received a successful output which means this step is okay. Don't forget to save workflow to avoid loss of the work. Next step is to use AI agent which is brain of workflow. In the chat model, you can select your choice of AI model such as OpenAI model or local Alama model. In my case I am going to choose Alama model for demo. In the RE agent, we are going to define source for prompt ourself, such as email subject, and drag its schema field from left window, next is sender of email and we again drag the sender schema, next it's TO of email and drag the schema from left window, and next is the body of the message and again we drag the dynamic field and finally attachment. It is going to be $binary.attachment underscore zero. In the system message we are going to put the prompt. This is important it will distinguish if email email is invoice of receipt. If yes, then it will output yes or else no for next step. The prompt message is below. Your task is to check if this is an invoice or receipt email. If it is invoice or receipt email, then output word will be yes else output word no. Only output yes or no. No other text are allowed to output. When we test this test, it failed, then I realized the Alama model to AI agent is not configured correctly, it was due to change of Alama IP change. Inspect Alama container in Docker engine and see IP address. Copy that IP address and put it back to NA10 Alama base URL and retry the connection. This time it is successful. Let's save the workflow. Next let's go back to AI agent and test step. We can see the output word is NO as that email do not have any invoice attachment. I send an email with invoice template, as we can see in Gmail trigger we actually received an attachment, and in the AI agent, we get output word yes. This is great news, and we can proceed to next step. Next we need a switch to filter, if the output yes from AI agent step, then it will let it proceed to next step otherwise it will terminate the flow. In this routing rules, in value 1 we drag the output schema of RE agent, which is either yes or no, and compare to value to yes. Next we need to another Gmail trigger. This time download the attachment again to feed to Google Drive. Duplicate the Gmail trigger from previous step and change message ID from Gmail trigger schema ID and mark download attachment. Testing this step show downloaded attachment. Let go to Google Drive and create a folder to hold the upload attachments in my case it is test folder. Next drag Google. Drive upload file trigger. You can use same credential, just make sure you enable Google Drive API in Google Console, operation to upload, input data field name equals to attachment underscore zero, and file name is going to a dollar binary dot attachment underscore zero dot file name a -E. select the folder you wish to upload attached to the Google Drive. Let manually test the workflow send invoice attachment download from Gmail and upload to Google Drive automatically. If you want to automatic, just mark the workflow active and everything will run automatically without your input. Thanks for watching the video. If it helped, 
give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe. If you have questions or want to learn more, leave a comment. Thanks.